I have a big old Thermarest pad that I use uh, in base camp and uh, it's hard to keep rolled so I'm going to stitch a bag for it from this old pant leg. So here is the finished bag or stuff sack for the ground pad. What I did was punch an eyelet into what would become the sleeve before I started sewing so that that would add some additional protection against chafe from the strings going in and out. It's a 550 cord. Here is the stitching with the speedy stitcher uh, on the bottom part. This is done on the wrong side so that when it's turned inside out you have a smoother seam and one that's less likely to chafe and wear from the outside. So there it is. Um, not a pretty piece of work, but functional. And here is the bag in use. I will put cord locks on it uh, when I get a hold of some. Very easy to do. And uh, here's the bottom seam. And the bag fits. So I'd call this a success. This is the second piece of cloth, the rectangular cloth for a bag. And uh, what I've marked on it is a little line where I'm going to sew in a buttonhole uh, so that I can put a draw cord through it. Wanted to show you the buttonhole stitch that creates on the left side a uh, reinforced roll that will uh, protect the fabric from the movement of the uh, draw cord. Okay, there's the buttonhole very crudely sewn in around there. Notice that the slit is not yet made. First you sew around it and then you cut the slit in between. I also forgot to mention that it's important to seal the edges of your nylon by running them by a flame. And this was sort of, again, a crude and hasty way, but at least it's sealed so it won't unravel. Here is the final bag, wrong side out. So you can see the stitching. That stitching is a back stitch. And here is the bag, right side out, with a cord lock and drawstrings in it.